Hey everyone. All right. Thanks for tuning back in. This is Eric, and today we're going to learn. Well, I'm with VBAHowTo.com. You'll see the company name up there, LobacomServices.com. So uh, I'm going to teach y'all today a simple, a simple thing to launch. Well, a question came to me about uh, how do you launch an external program from a Nexus database. Well, uh, you'll do it by using a simple little function called shell and uh, like a seashell. Uh, S-E, actually it's, it's just plain shell, like you're playing shells or something. Uh, anyway, so it's real, real simple to use. Uh, here's the code right here. I have this nifty little, hopefully I have this nifty little uh, yellow thing on my mouse. Um, BTN logic cell, I click and I have the shell thing. And I'm just launching the program, excel.exe. So in my program here, the simple thing you can download at, uh, you can download it at vbahowto.com. Uh, so go out there and see it. Go out there and download it, then you can take it with the code if you want. Here on this, uh, my little form here launches Excel. So bang, I launch Excel and Excel comes up. Okay, so I can go ahead and have a form with, uh, I could, right here it's got a symbol, but I can have an option, option buttons on the sides, they launch uh, Word or uh, show my word processor, show my Excel spreadsheet, uh, show my presentation. Okay, if you're if you are not a Microsoft job, well, you are because you're using Access, but um, yeah, show all these things, show calculator. So you can have a little calculator button. I just chose to launch Excel, and it, what it does is it looks in your uh, your program files folder and for different ex exe files executables and so here i'm i'm saying okay my path is that's where my path is that i'm looking into because i have office 10 or 2010 and so i was looking at the office 14 and then i'm looking for the exe file okay i'm going to take you in there let you see what's going on Let's see what's going on here. Okay, uh, take by the scenes a little bit. Okay, here's some of the some of the programs I have in my programs files folder, and then I'm going here and I'm looking at the Microsoft Office, and notice all these different versions of offices. Office 14, and if I look down my list here. I see Excel and IDAC. It's like a launch that with the shell. Uh, I think there's some, oh uh, yeah, graph. I wanted the graph little feature, the charting to utility. Okay, if I want to launch access, I'll choose that one. Uh, if I want to launch Word, I'll, or whatever this is, I don't really know what this is. Uh, publisher. Okay, I didn't even. Some of these programs you probably don't even know you have, and that goes for me too. And then uh, OneNote. Okay, it's something to do with Access with Office 2010. Uh, Word, WinWord. Okay, launch Word. And so you can go around here and play around. I wouldn't delete nothing out of here, but I would just uh, go ahead and, and tinker around with opening up these files. But it's real simple. Use this, uh, this shell. Okay, that is the function. And here it says, what's your path name? And your path name, and it opens it up. Okay, real, real easy to use. Otherwise, you have to use like shell.execute. you got to use an API call up here. I think this is new with Access 2010, but uh, you can you can utilize this. Uh, it's basically inher inherent in uh, already in 2010. In the previous versions, you would have to go to shell.execute, and again, you would have to have an API call up here. 
So go on out to vba.do.com and get the database if you need to. And uh, hopefully it was helpful. Get on Merrick with vbahowto.com. Bye.